French President Emmanuel Macron has set his plans for Europe's defence. Speaking to the country's ambassadors, he underlined the region's security can no longer rely so heavily on the US. Europe can no longer rely solely on the United States for its security. It is up to us today to take responsibility and guarantee European security and consequently European sovereignty. Let's go live now to RT Charlotte Dubensky, who's in Paris. Charlotte, good to see you. Can you tell us more about what prompted Macron's words there? Well, he was giving his annual big foreign policy speech to France's ambassadors, who will now go off across the world to take up their positions, hopefully be singing all from the same hymn sheet. What Macron used this speech to do is to push some of his ideas, which talk about a closer cooperation in Europe. And one of those things for closer cooperation that he believes is necessary is a closer defence force here in Europe, something he's talked about several times before. Now, the reason he highlighted it in this speech today is because he said that Europe can no longer rely on having its security from the United States. Now, Mr. Macron went to outline a number of gripes with the United States, which are very similar to gripes that the European Union has with the United States, and particularly the Trump administration. They're things such as the trade wars that we've seen in recent months. This is the hiking of steel and aluminium tariffs with countries around the world and big organizations uh, such as the European Union. Uh, also the fact that uh, the Trump administration has withdrawn from the Paris Climate Accord. It's also withdrawn from the Iranian nuclear deal. And, of course, there has been doubts from the Trump administration, particularly from President Trump himself, over NATO itself, which is the security force uh, that binds the US and uh, Europe. Now, he's talked in the past saying that he thinks uh, the US is doing too much. So all of these concerns have prompted Macron on to say we can't now rely on the US for security. We have to do something about it ourselves. Well, what is that? Well, he's talked about this closer defence cooperation here in Europe, but he's also said that Europe needs to look beyond its borders and to look to other countries, such as Russia, in the future. This reinforced solidarity will imply revisiting the European architecture of defence and security by initiating renewed dialogue on cybersecurity, chemical weapons, conventional weaponry, territorial conflicts, space security, the protection of the polar zones, in particular with Russia. I want to launch exhaustive reflection with our European partners in a broad sense, so with Russia. Well, Mr. Macron said that reaching out to Russia would rely on one thing, and that would be the full implementation of the Minsk peace agreement. This is over uh, the conflict in parts of Ukraine. The Kremlin has said previously that it agrees that full implementation of the Minsk uh, peace agreement should be implemented. What is interesting, though, is whether or not people will be listening to Macron's speech. He gave a very similar speech a year ago where he called for very similar things, but at that time, he was still riding high in the popularity stakes. We know that here at home in France at the moment, he's seen some of the lowest polls of his presidency. And we're also seeing more and more people uh, not happy with his ideas across Europe uh, as they're feeling that he is not necessarily representing the views of the people across Europe. So many people may in fact look to ignore this speech.